Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about something called Flory's algorithm, which lets us find Euler circuits and graphs. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. Before we can go over Flory's algorithm, we have to remember what we mean by an Euler circuit. So an Euler circuit in a graph is a circuit that uses every edge of the graph exactly once. So for example, in this graph, we could go from A to B, then to C, then to D, then to E, then to F, turn around, go towards D, turn around, go towards B, back to F, and then back to A. So here's an example of a circuit that hits every edge of the graph exactly once beginning and ending at the same vertex. We would write this circuit as A to B to C to D to E to F to D to B to F to A. But finding Euler circuits in graphs can be tricky if you don't approach it the right way. So we're going to talk about how to approach it. We're only going to try this in graphs that we know have an Euler circuit to begin with. According to Euler's theorem, any connected graph that has an Euler circuit has vertices of even degree. All of the vertices have even degree. And if you see that a graph has vertices of even degree with not a single odd degree vertex, then you know you can find an Euler circuit. So we'll only be applying Flory's algorithm for finding Euler circuits to those graphs. Another thing that's going to be important as we look at um, trying to use Flory's algorithm is the concept of a bridge or a cut edge in a graph. A bridge in a graph is an edge whose removal disconnects a component of the graph. It separates the graph into more pieces, in other words. So for example, here, if we remove the edge ED from the connected graph, we create a new graph with two components. So ED is what's known as a bridge or cut edge. Now, a bridge can never be part of a circuit. Remember, a circuit is a closed trail. It loops back around. So, for example, the vertices B, C, and D are part of a circuit. And there's no way that any of the three edges in that circuit could be a bridge, because if we remove one of them, the other edges connect the vertices still. So when you spot a triangle, a square, or any other uh, structure that loops around, a bridge cannot be one of the edges in that circuit. So let's practice identifying the bridges or cut edges in a graph. So the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate any edges as possibilities that are part of some kind of circuit. Notice that we have a square A, B, C, D, and so none of these can be bridges because they're part of that loop. So if you remove any one of them, we still have the remaining edges to connect them. The same thing for this triangle A, B, D. So BD is part of that triangle, and ACD is a triangle, and this edge is part of that triangle. Um, we also have over on the right a triangle EFG. None of these edges that are part of that triangle can be bridges. And so what we're left to consider are the edges CE and HG. So if you imagine removing CE from the graph, you can see that we do get two distinct components. The component ABCD is separated completely from the component EFGH. Now let's check HG, the other edge that was not part of a circuit. So if we remove GH, you might think that it doesn't disconnect the graph, but this is a little bit of a tricky one. We actually do still have two components. We have a component that is comprised of just the vertex H all by itself, and then we have a second component that is all the rest of the graph. So GH is also a bridge. So there are two bridges in this graph, CE and GH. Now we're going to look at the steps or formula, the recipe, to find an Euler circuit in a graph that has Euler circuits. It's called Flory's algorithm. It can be used in any connected graph in which each vertex has even degree because we know it'll have an Euler circuit. So step one will be just start at any vertex you want. Step two, we're going to go along any edge from that vertex 
vertex to another vertex, remove that edge from the graph, and make a note of what edge we just removed. Then from this vertex on the revised graph, we'll choose any edge we want, as long as it's not a bridge unless there's no other option. So leaving bridges for last. Go along your chosen edge, remove that edge from the graph and make a note of it. And we're gonna continue that process until we've removed one by one all of the edges. The sequence then of recorded edges is gonna be our Euler circuit. Use Fleury's algorithm to find an Euler circuit beginning and ending at B. Remember, you can start any vertex you want, but sometimes in the instructions, the problem will tell you what vertex they want you to start at. This one's telling us to start at B. Focus in on B and look at all the directions we can go from B. We can go in four different directions. We can go towards A, we can go towards C, we can go towards D, or we can go towards F. So we're going to remove one of those edges, just making sure that none of them are cut edges. Well, notice if you remove any of those edges, it's not going to disconnect the graph. So I'm going to choose BF. Okay, so I'm removing BF. I've made a note of it. I've recorded B to F, and now I'm gonna start at vertex F, and I'm gonna see where I'm gonna go from there. From vertex F, I have three options. I can go towards A, E, or D. None of them appear to be a cut edge, so it's really up to me, so I'm gonna choose A. So removing that edge and recording it, from A, I can go toward B or C or D. Again, I don't think any of these, if I removed them, would separate the graph into two components, so that's up to me. I am gonna decide to go towards B. So I'm gonna write that down and I'm going to remove it from the graph. So now from B, where are we going to go? We have two options. We can go towards D or towards C. Once again, neither of these looks like a cut edge, so I'm going to pick D. You could pick C if you wanted to, but I picked D. From D, we can go towards A or E or F, but notice if we were to remove the edge DA, we would separate the graph into two components. We would have the component ABC, and then we would have the component DEF. So DA is actually a cut edge, and we're not allowed to remove cut edges unless it, there is no option. So we can either remove DE or DF. I chose DF. So from D we go to F, we make a note of it, and we remove the edge. And then now we're at F. Now at F, there's no option except going to E. So we're going to E, removing that and making a note of it. Now from E, we have no choice but to go to D. And then we have to go to A. We have to go to C next and then we have to go to B next. So we found our Euler circuit that begins and ends at the vertex B. How about you give one a try now? So I'm gonna put the problem up on the screen, find an Euler circuit for this graph, and if you'd like, you can pause the video and then push play when you're ready. When we're asked to find an Euler circuit, it's probably a good idea to check the degrees of the vertices just to make sure that it's actually gonna be possible. Remember, it's only possible if we we have all even degree vertices. Well, vertex B has degree two, two edges are touching that vertex. Vertex A has degree two. Vertex C has degree four, also even. F has degree two, E has degree two, and vertex D has degree four. So we know that this graph does in fact have an Euler circuit, and we know that we can use Fleury's algorithm to find it. I'm gonna start by removing the edge BC. So that puts me at vertex C. So now from vertex C, I have three options. I can go towards F or E or D. So I chose to go towards F. So now I've removed CF and now I'm at vertex F and I have to go to D from vertex F. So I've removed FD. And now from D, I can either go to A or to C or to E. But notice that if I were to remove edge DA, I would be set, stuck with two completely separate components, and that's not allowed. So we can't use DA. We have to choose between DC and DE. 
I'm going to go with DE. So I've removed DE and now I'm at vertex E. Now from vertex E, the rest of the path is laid out for me. There are no options. I'd have to go to, from E to C and then to D and then to A and then back to B. So the complete Euler circuit that started at B would be B to C to F to D to E to C to D to A to B. Now, by the way, any graph that has an Euler circuit always has more than one Euler circuit. So there's not just one right answer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Miss Hearn Mathematics, for more graph theory and other math videos.